Yes, welcome back to Wine in the Morning. Special thanks to Alex for that amazing, informative interview. We carry on swiftly on Wine in the Morning on Entrepreneurship Tuesday. My name is Barry Moses or It's Barry Mo on social media. So if you're watching us right now and entertainment is your passion, we have a team here consisting of queens and they have this wholesome approach to entertainment that they're here to share with us. Karibun sana. All right, who's going to go first? I will go first. All right. Introduce yourself and introduce the organization in the process. Okay. Uh -huh. My name is uh, Ochien Quinta. Uh -huh. I'm the co I'm the founder. Uh -huh. I'm the founder of Two Concepts. Uh -huh. Two Concepts Entertainment is a it's a, it's just an entertainment company uh -huh. that uh, approaches entertainment in seven dimensions. In seven dimensions. Yeah. All right. Did these dimensions exist before, or you came up with them? They do exist, uh -huh. but now because we are doing all of them, we uh -huh. decided to come up with a way that we'll handle all of them. All right. Yeah. I feel that. I'll give you a chance before we can get to the seven pillars. All right. My name is Dana Barmasai. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I am the co-founder of Tusk, uh -huh. and I also handle marketing for Tusk. You handle marketing for Tusk. Yeah. Uh, amazing. Uh, uh, I'm Imadli Lin. Mm -hmm. I'm a graphic designer for Tusk Concepts. For Tusk Concepts. Yeah. All right. The first question is, uh, do you guys work for Tusk Concepts exclusively or people have their thing on the side first? I work ex exclusively for Tusk. Exclusively. Yeah, Everything you do, I have you eat, you breathe. Tusk, man. I <laughs> Everybody else the same? Me. No. Me, I. Uh -huh. I All right. Just so... Uh -huh. I also work for Tusk permanently. Like mm -hmm. I don't have any other thing going on other than Tusk. All right, you the same? Not really. Not really. You yeah. have your things on the side. Yeah. You're a graphic designer. We understand. <laughs> it happens. All right. So, uh, how big is the team so far? Uh, the team is big enough. We have our IT guy. We are mm -hmm. actually eight people, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the rest are guest guest members. All right, uh, so sometimes you get to outsource. Yeah, we outsource sometimes. All right, so the seven pillars, maybe you can address uh, two of them, then two, and then maybe three <laughs> in that order. <laughs> All right, so what is the first pillar in this whole sub approach to entertainment business uh, that you guys are doing different? Uh, first pillar I'm going to talk about is talent search and nurturing. Talent search and nurturing. Yeah. Entertainment without talent is not entertainment. For sure. They are interdependent. Yeah. All right, so talent search is the first thing. Talent search is the first thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we do that in both urban and rural. Mm -hmm. And actually, when I, when I was starting this company, mm -hmm. I, uh, my first project, I did it in the rural areas. Mm -hmm. Because uh, people tend to focus so much in the in towns and uh -huh. uh, Nairobi, mm -hmm. in these big cities. Mm -hmm. And they live out the small towns outside there that mm -hmm. are really kids outside there got talent and mm -hmm. they need people that go and support them. So, yeah. All right, I so talent to do search that. is also a whole package from the urban areas to the rural areas. Yeah. All right, so uh, how do we approach this aspect of talent searching? Yeah, we approach it in the aspect of uh, dance, mm -hmm. art, creative mm -hmm. arts, mm -hmm. and uh, singing. All right, so do you have call out for uh, talent uh, to submit their work or you have auditions? How, how do you go about it? Okay, uh, like currently, right mm -hmm. now, as we speak, we have uh, a dance academy. Mm -hmm. So we did a call out for dancers. We mm -hmm. did a, a call out for dancers and mm -hmm. uh, we selected the best seven. Mm -hmm. So the best seven right now are the ones leading that academy. You mm -hmm. see, we, we gave them that chance. We looked for them. Mm -hmm. They came. Mm -hmm. And when they came, we are now giving them an opportunity mm -hmm. to build others. To build others. Yeah. So you've created the structure for them. Yeah. So they come into the structure yeah. and grow it. And yeah. Maybe the second pillar. Uh-huh. Basically, we also do edutainment. Uh -huh. edutainment. This is another pillar. Yeah. Right. Edutainment is basically entertainment that can... Edutainment with some education in uh -huh. it. Like maybe... Give me an example of uh, uh, edutainment <laughs> content. That an edutainment you guys content. Uh -huh. Okay, we have not done it, but uh -huh. it's on the program. Uh -huh. Like going to schools. Uh -huh bringing mentors to speak uh -huh. bringing artists who can do something for the kids uh -huh. other than just entertainment from the entertainment they can learn something something through the people mm -hmm. we're going to bring in yes and traditionally that works yeah, when kids are entertained they're more recipient to to, to material or especially if it's to entertainment it's much more faster to get the concept all right 
maybe another pillar of uh, <laughs> um charity charity is another pillar yeah, yeah. very important to give A back to the community important, yeah uh -huh. as to concept we give back to the community uh -huh. wherever we can mm -hmm. you know it's good to to give back so that you can have the blessings all right yeah it's always good to give back so you yeah. can have the blessings all right uh, so uh maybe the fourth one and then we can <laughs> the rest they they can find them uh, yeah community outreach uh -huh. Community outreach. These are events that we do to connect the community mm -hmm. with the uh, with the uh, what is really happening in life. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the other Saturday, we did a dance to fitness mm -hmm. event, and we did it in Kileleshwa mm -hmm. with kids and adults. Dance to fitness. To fitness. Yeah. All right. Self-explanatory. Self-explanatory. <laughs> all right. So you use dance as a form of exercise. Yeah, that was uh -huh. all about health and uh, uh, exercises. You know, to mm -hmm. build the brain and build. Mm -hmm your healthy state of all life. right so how do you come up with uh, what you want to do next say all right next week we want to do dance to fitness how, how is uh, how is the, the the creative process like you know first of all you have to see a need before uh -huh. you do something mm -hmm. right and necessity. Uh, yeah you uh -huh. a necessity mm -hmm. so when we did when we started the academy the dance mm -hmm. academy we wanted something that would connect our dancers with the community mm -hmm. and at least uh, make us known i'll say there that you are doing something that is impacting mm -hmm. lives mm -hmm. outside entertainment all right yeah uh so your background is in marketing your background is in uh, uh, graphic design, and all these skills come together uh, to make Tusk concepts. Yeah. All right, before we proceed, just tell them your social media handles so they can check you guys out as we have this conversation. Uh, you can check us on uh, Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. and Twitter at Tusk Concepts. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's our it. platform. Uh -huh. And maybe me. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> All right, you yeah. give them that to us then. That was a good uh, stop, Zana. Yeah, I'm, I'm Chica. Uh -huh. I'm Chica on Instagram. Every platform, I'm, Ch I'm Queen Chica on every platform. All right. Uh, I'll pass this to the marketer now. And uh, when you're setting up this two concepts, you have a lot of concepts. Uh, you see what I did there? <laughs> you had a lot of concepts that you wanted to execute. Yeah. And uh, it's still a business at the end of the day. Yes. So where is the cash? Basically... We can't say like, you know, it depends. We can't say like in everything we're going to do, there'll be a hundred percent profit. It's mm -hmm. a business, there's a profit and there's less. I don't want a hundred percent. I yeah. just want where the money comes in. How does the money come in uh, at this concept? Basically, point to business? through sponsorships, mm -hmm. through selling of tickets, mm -hmm. through investors who are willing to invest, mm -hmm. through people who are just willing to contribute to what we do. Mm -hmm. That's how we get our financial flow in Tusk. All right. So uh, if you're going to run an entertainment business, mm -hmm. you have to make sure you have events. Yeah. Yeah. Those are channels that will make you money. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Another thing is uh, working with uh, sponsors yeah. and, uh, and partners. Yeah. Uh, another thing is through well wishes, which is always rare. Yeah. All right, so entertainment, uh, uh, events rather, uh, what keeps this concept in business? Okay, uh -huh. uh, actually in, in events, mostly what keeps us in business is club gigs. Mm -hmm. We do gigs too. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, have, we have got a chance to work with several, I uh, mean, um, uh, is it clubs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we worked with Asmara, mm -hmm. we worked with Age, we mm -hmm. worked with, uh, yeah, uh, different clubs. Right. And even uh, Bukaneas in Kisumu, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, so it's Nairobi to coast to, to host. Wherever, <laughs> wherever. <laughs> to wherever. Actually, wherever. even in Uganda, we uh -huh. did an event over there in Uganda. Uh -huh. It was dance and uh, an event. We hosted an artist over there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it is open-minded. Mm -hmm. we, are, we, are, we are venturing into different things at the same time. All right. Through talent such, you obviously get talent. Yeah. Uh, how do you uh, manage to manage talent? Uh, <laughs> you know, if you have a, a disciplined team, mm -hmm. it's easier. Mm -hmm. So we make sure that our dancers are dis disciplined and mm -hmm. uh, they're up to the task. All right. And what kind of deal do you give the dancers? Uh, the dancers, mm -hmm. we give them a deal like, uh, I'm going to manage you. Because, you know, uh, most of these talents, they are outside there. Mm -hmm. And uh, they don't have the channel to be 
in the in the industry mm -hmm. you know so when we provide that mm -hmm. we provide everything needed we mm -hmm. give you the classes mm -hmm. outfits anytime you needed mm -hmm. food transport we do we we facilitate, facilitate the process. especially when mm -hmm. we have uh, an event coming up with you guys mm -hmm. we facilitate all that and then after a gig mm -hmm. we make sure that uh we we at least pay you mm -hmm. you know in the end you just don't need to work mm -hmm. we pay you and then you also need to know that you have to give back to the community sometimes. You just need to be growing. All right. Yeah. Since you talked about giving back to the community, uh, do you think everyone can give back to the community, including that uh, person who has a small duka somewhere? Yeah. Who's running a business? Yes. Everyone can give back to the community. It doesn't uh -huh. matter how much you have. Uh -huh. The need to help others is when always there. When I say everyone, there. I mean businesses. In businesses, uh -huh. yeah. Everyone it's good. Can. It's good to give back to the community. All right, talking about giving back, then how do you pick uh, the the so the problems that you're going to solve when it comes to giving back to the community as to its concepts? Um, a letter. You will pass it <laughs> to the <laughs> yeah. to the founder. Yeah. All right, or maybe she can help. How do you pick? Okay, we are going to solve this problem for this particular neighborhood since they're facing this. How do you pick? You have to you identify the problem first you mm. are supposed to. And giving back necessarily doesn't have to involve money. You know, mm -hmm. you can give back through there's contribution, charity, mm -hmm. you just remove something small you have. So mm -hmm. basically, it doesn't have to be money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So if we identify a place and the needs and what we're supposed to take there or what we're supposed to bring to that certain place we will definitely work on what we need we will maybe organize people to do some fundraising or something of the sort just to be able to give back we will allow people who are who don't so have uh -huh. who don't have that platform to come and give back to the community through Tusk. all right uh please remind them your name your camera is number four there's something i want to do right here your name quinta i mean uh, yeah. yeah, your full names. Ochen Quinta. Ochen Quinta is yeah. the name. What about you? Diana Barmasai. Diana Barmasai. Imali Lin. Imali Lin. Yes, you've seen what you guys have in common, yeah? <laughs> 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 You're all queens. There's no <laughs> gentleman in this oh, okay. building. What is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wh what's happening at Tusk <laughs> also? Uh. Okay, uh, at Tusk, uh, we tried, I mean, okay, we, we want to build a monopoly, like, where we just working with women you uh -huh. know i said here uh guys are not giving girls an opportunity to mm -hmm. like and then they it's like me, men don't believe that girls can do things better than them uh -huh. so and we don't, decided they don't to believe uh, mm -hmm. girls can lead as well yeah so when we were working yeah we, we did work with some males uh -huh. some some time uh -huh. back uh, but then you know when it comes to decision making they uh -huh. feel like my decision is is a decision that <laughs> is more team, important than a lady's decision. Yeah, so uh, we just decided to come up because we, we, we see that it's easier for us to come up with ideas, uh -huh. talk through them before... And avoid uh, distraction. Yeah. All right. So uh, the organization is uh, is highly <laughs> queens. <laughs> right, the population is uh, queen concentrated. For sure. But the impact of the organization, does it... Uh, does it segregate? No, it doesn't. Uh -huh. Actually, uh, even the dancers that we signed, uh -huh. uh, four are guys mm -hmm. and three are girls. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really affect mm -hmm. affect the, the other part. It doesn't affect the other part. <laughs> yeah. All right, so when it comes to peer-to-peer, -peer, it's difficult. But when it comes to superior to... Yeah, it's easier. It's easier <laughs> yeah. that way yeah. for the queens. All right, have you... Have you have you had experience, some experiences with gentlemen that uh, were unpleasant? Uh, that make you guys fear to include gentlemen in the in the, in the movement. Personally, I won't say I don't like working with them, uh -huh. but I like being out, out going outstanding. Like uh -huh. men require you ask them for everything. Give uh -huh. me, give me, give me, and then uh -huh. now that give me, give me turns into uh -huh. something else. All right. People setting standards which you can't do, setting uh -huh. rules or things you have to do in either in. For in order for them to support them, uh -huh. for you, in order for them to support you, uh -huh. and basically, if you find someone with principle, it uh -huh. becomes hard. Even you can find like sometimes we are not doing anything, maybe because finances are short, and because someone has to give you those finances, uh -huh. he wants something else in return, and it's becoming hard. 
All right, so it becomes harder and harder for the queens out there. So men have uh, room for improvement. We can improve as, as a gentleman. That's what you're saying. Yeah, they can offer you that help, but it has to come with a price. All right. Unless you meet the right people, that is. Wonderful. The future of entertainment industry in Kenya, as we speak, do you think we are going to cash it like our brothers in Nigeria and South Africa and the US and England. Yeah, I, I read some article mm -hmm. and uh, it said that creative industry mm -hmm. is the next biggest like industry that uh, mm -hmm. is gonna be on market. Mm -hmm. So I would I would urge every youth outside there mm -hmm. to come up with ideas. Urge the parents especially. Yeah, and uh, parents, man, <laughs> parents. I, I wanna appreciate my dad. Uh -huh. He has been so supportive mm -hmm. and my mom. So uh, one thing I would say is that uh, parents should be also be willing to support talents. It's, mm -hmm. it's just not about class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We need the knowledge, you mm -hmm. get it. But sometimes the talent outdo classes. Uh -huh. So yeah, they should uh, be giving chance for uh, this mm -hmm. is so that they can see how, how far this kid can go with the talent. All right. Yeah. So uh, create the creative industry is the next big business. Yeah. In Kenya. And in the world as in well. In Kenya and in the world. I believe that. Uh -huh. Yeah. This article is from a reliable source. Reliable source. <laughs> and you believe this as well. <laughs> All right. Uh, I like, I like, I like. So uh, moving on swiftly. So as, as people in the entertainment business, uh, we have people who have always been complaining about the, the laws that have been set by uh, the parliament. We don't have clear laws on how to pay the artists. We saw the issue with MCSK. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys uh, trying to do to fix this part of the problem? The uh, politics of the problem. The politics of the problem, I saw there's a movement that has started mm -hmm. on the MCSK issue. Mm -hmm. And actually, I think I'm, 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 I don't think I'm part of the movement. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to really expose what, you, what we are planning to do in, mm -hmm. th in there. There's a plan there's underway. A if you're yeah, an artist out there, <laughs> there's hope for you. Uh -huh. There's hope, yeah, uh -huh. there's hope. And uh, the government got to do something, man. Mm -hmm. They, they got to do something because there's a lot of talent outside here that uh, these people are just... You know, they're suppressing mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. it, man. So they, they have to give our artists uh, a chance. Because right. they can do it. They can do it. They've been doing it. Are you going for office and they need in to stop 2022? Stop. Yeah, yeah, I'm going for office. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta go for it. All right. And like, we're living in the age of social media, uh, the digital era. And uh, this has made life easier for some people. It has made life harder for some people. Uh, how is social media impacting the line of business that you guys are in, especially the marketer right there? Well, social media is really, really effective. It's mm -hmm. really effective. Like, for example, if you're having an event, mm -hmm. I'm sure if I post it on my timeline or on Tusk's timeline, mm -hmm. there will be like a reach, mm -hmm. the amount of people who will see that post. Mm -hmm. So that is more faster than mm -hmm. me calling, like calling, you see, if I call you, even mm -hmm. On social media, even if you don't like know me, mm -hmm. you might be interested. But me, like, just going through the people who know me, it will be hard to pass that information. Mm -hmm. So we are able to. So pass. you have like a place you can preach to many people yeah. at once yes. in a very simple way yeah. without calling. All right, I, I feel that. I feel that we have feedback on our social media as well. Keep them coming on our Facebook. We had a question on our Facebook. What is that that you are doing with your smartphone to make some money on the side? or as a main hustle. Tell us on Facebook at Y254 so we can read out uh, at the end of this particular segment. So you say social media has really impacted you guys uh, or impacted the entertainment business a lot. In, a, in a positive way Yeah. Uh, in terms of marketing. How, how, would, you, how would you describe the, the effect of social media in what you are trying to do as a person? Um, for me, I really thank social media uh -huh. because Personally, I have I have my own page for designs. Mm -hmm. So from there, I get more clients. Mm -hmm. Call me, tell me do this and this. Mm -hmm. I deliver the work. Mm -hmm. So social media has really made me come up with so many clients. Mm -hmm. And I think it's it, it's a really good it's a really good place for marketing. Mm -hmm. And I would advise people to use social media. Social media is a good yeah, thing. Yeah, social media is a good thing. All right, what would you tell uh, the parents who who deny their kids access to social media? They okay, say, they, they, 
they uh, they definitely have their reasons but mm -hmm. trust me if if uh, a kid wants to haribikia uko ata haribika tu uh -huh. you want you want there's you want to control that you, there's nothing you can do mm -hmm. and uh, by the way parents just need to learn that uh -huh. there's nothing they can do when <laughs> kids wa when kids want to do something uh -huh. they will do it uh -huh. so it's up to them to decide what they want uh -huh. and how they they are going to use that social media mm -hmm. but see stress setting rules and regulation and all that when it comes to guidance yeah. thank you very much let's sample some feedback uh, from the viewers but we've always sampled the feedback the question was uh, what do you do with your smartphone or your laptop to make money on the side uh, or as a main hustle maybe you can start as a, as a is there something hustle. you do with your smartphone to make money that people can get to know or some people can tap into <laughs> okay uh, I, I use social media um, I mean, out of betting this <laughs> out <laughs> I don't bet. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, I there the, are these guys in the, uh -huh. the in the states. Uh -huh. uh, I I do with them trade uh -huh. and uh, forex stuff. Or oh, forex online. trading, yeah. forex trading online. Yeah, that is something you do with, with, uh, with through your smartphone. Yeah, and you make some money off it. Yeah, yeah. We already have one thing you can do with your smartphone or your computer: forex trading. Uh, what about you? Uh, I do chain block blockchain uh -huh. for cryptocurrency, uh -huh. Bitcoin. Uh -huh. Well. Right now, it's it has started running in Kenya, but you uh -huh. can make money. It's not. It has not. It is not yet that high. Uh, it has but not it's picked up so well. It's yeah, but something it's something. If it can pick up, it will be really of great essence. And it really, it's it won't even take five minutes of your time to uh -huh. do what I do to get what, what the coins get. they get. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's just like. Are you willing five to minutes? share with us the amount of? Uh, <laughs> 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 no. All right. So blockchain or oh, cryptocurrency uh, trading is another thing you can do. Uh, graphic design. Obviously, you design on your computer and you sell your work on your computer. Yeah. Another thing. Basically, just designing. Just design. There's a, there's a, there's a lot of online online stuff you can uh -huh. do like just presenting your work you're being paid that's something i do with my laptop yes we have gems here <laughs> uh, graphic design uh, blockchain or cryptocurrency and forex trading before we sample from the viewers so the first one is uh, nancy wakangema uh, will you guys take my job today and help me let's read one 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 kendanga nancy wakangema and seven i said wakangema well represented talentpreneur maybe you can help me there uh, there are a variety of jobs you can do with a smartphone or a laptop. Uh -huh. You can do digital marketing, transcription, online academic writing, blogs, and even vlog vlogs uh -huh. about different issues affecting our society. Wow. Do you agree or disagree? I agree. You agree. Yeah. Uh, which jobs after you pay 500 shillings registration fee? to pay for being taught how to use your own Facebook accounts. <laughs> and so in the end, they tell you the company is undergoing tech problems. So you can't work for them, yet the 500 bob is non-refundable. This person, this is a testimony. Yeah. directly. We are sorry, man. We are sorry uh, that happened <laughs> to you. But you should be really careful. All right, you should be really yeah. careful online as well. So Zile is a Kingston and someone I'm going Hi, I'm Melvo from Nyeri, but nowadays these companies are scam. We don't know which is true to work with. Factual? Factual, Factual. is you have to like, there are a lot of online, like there's this, mm, okay, let we me We know them. Yeah. You want to make 50K in one day. You, <laughs> referrals, that is the thing. You have to refer someone, you have to refer, refer. Uh -huh. now, you know, referring a Kenyan to something to uh -huh. get money, it's really hard. It's really hard. They'll be like, I will refer that one and the next person I'm going to refer to will not enter. So, you so there's a lot of fraud online. We yeah. should be careful. Yeah. Sure, that is the message. Sure. Maurice Marko Anasema, help me to know. I don't believe in this online working and uh, it works it works, it works. some when of it works uh -huh. when you when you're uh, on a legit platform uh -huh. it works all right well nancy anasema good morning thank you very much for nancy gushin mc anasema group admin shout out to you group admin <laughs> uh carlos stefan as you are 44 represented ibrahim bailon and some ongaro tuned in was on a day mavida uh kupata see what una to me then when I leap here. All right, what does he mean? What is he trying to say? Maybe scandalous video that people are oh, finding oh, it. Oh, it drives from, uh, <laughs> yeah. from the tip, <laughs> like the tip that we just had. <laughs> All right, so Joseph Wayne, betting online, I take it as a job. Okay. 
Yes, we can we can give that. Uh, Maxwell uh, Kamau Machado and I say, I do online jobs. I write my own stories in my group called Adithiza Mwalimu Macharia and uh, Kamau. So after writing his stories, he gets a fan base and maybe makes money off this. Yeah. Uh, so at our domo wakona chance online. Come on him to a story story. Yeah, you okay. can tell your stories online and make some money off yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you very much for sending your feedback our way, your last remarks uh to the people who are watching right now. Maybe you can start. Basically I'd like to tell people that Entertainment should not be viewed as a bad thing. Sometimes it can help the community. It doesn't necessarily have to be something bad because it's entertainment. Mm -hmm. And men should allow to give us platform. You should not be biased. You should not limit us to rules to set. Like mm -hmm. just let us explore our limits to the full. Like All you right. don't know where I might help you tomorrow. It's you know the world. Yes, is. men, <laughs> you are straight. Give the queens a chance. Give them the space to prosper, to thrive, to bloom. Yes. Okay, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Chika because... <laughs> and and Bama mm -hmm. because they they've they've proven that you if you really want to do something mm -hmm. you go for it. Mm -hmm. They and sold you yeah, the dream. Yeah, they, they they saw I have an opportunity to uh -huh. do something better, uh -huh. and now I'm a permanent employee. I'm a, I'm their graphic designer, uh -huh. and I would really tell people out there if you want to do something, just go do it. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter you can't do it. it just doesn't matter do it. Your yeah. age, it doesn't, doesn't matter, your matter, your matter time. where you're from, your background. If you don't have money, if you uh -huh. want something aim for it if you want something go for it oh and my instagram handle is at imali yes tell that to uh, ringtone <laughs> 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 all right what about you uh, uh, don't be discouraged don't be discouraged yeah challenges will always be there don't be discouraged challenges will always be there and we wrap this up with that uh remind them your social media handle uh the the company one uh, uh -huh. your personals do our cheeky cheeky na joke na watu na omengoja in segment sala ya kwara social media and then we wrap this oh yeah i'm queen chica uh -huh. on all my social media platforms and our followers at two concepts on yeah right. at two concepts, concepts everywhere all right basically i just run two concepts social media i don't have any social media handle but we yeah see you <laughs> but you <laughs> saw oh my 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 job social media page is at imali creatives Imali creatives. Imali creatives. All right, you don't want people to interact with your personal lives. Yeah. With um, your personal lives. Maybe, maybe I just take one minute and give a, a big shout out to my dancers. Mm -hmm. Then I want to shout out to Mose, mm -hmm. Nina, mm -hmm. Kevo, mm -hmm. Brio, mm -hmm. and yeah, uh, I mean you guys, man, keep, keep, keep up, keep up, keep up, keep up. Let's go. Let's aim high and let's keep, keep. What pushing. about? Uh, <laughs> oh my God! I'm not, I'm not forgetting our designer. Hi, <laughs> man. He worked on me oh, well. Oh yeah, <laughs> I feel that. So uh -huh. yeah, Dero, Dero, uh -huh. big shout out, man. Continue uh -huh. pushing us and supporting us. And uh, I wanna, I wanna give a shout out to my dad. Uh -huh. I know he will be watching this. Steven Ogam, uh -huh. he's my father. I, I really appreciate, and I'm thankful for having you as my father. Shout out to daddies who support their kids' dreams. Uh, Nabide tufunike sasa. Ah, Santi. Alright, this concept wali kuja wakafunika. This is the end uh, of it. Uh, tomorrow is Queen's Wednesday for you, but we have started it uh, right here, right now, as you can see uh, with the ladies of tu Tusk Concepts. So until tomorrow, my name is Barry Moses. On behalf of everybody who made this possible, bye-bye. Don't change that. We still have a lot lined up for you.